Good morning all. Welcome to the comprehensive video session of Christ Engineering College. Today we are going to learn a few topics from reinforced cement concrete. I would like to give you questions from previous year model questions on SSC and Kerala PSC. The first question is question number one. Find the number of samples. Number of samples for one not five meter cube of concrete of concrete. Also find the number of cubes number of cubes so let us find the answer we can see that one not five meter cube can be written as 50 meter cube plus 50 meter cube plus 5 meter cube. So we can see that for the first 50 meter cubes, we will take 4 samples. The next 50 meter cube, we will take 1 sample. And for the next 5 meter cube, we will take another 1 sample. So in total, we will be taking 6 samples we will be taking six samples that is the first part of our answer and we know that each sample we know that each sample will constitute of three cubes so the total number of cubes total number of cubes equal to 6 into 3 equal to 18 cubes okay so we will be having 18 cubes in total now going for the next question here the question is which concrete is better which concrete is better the given sampling frequency versus sampling frequency versus strength graphs of this concrete is as shown this is the two concretes okay this is concrete a and this is concrete B. So the question is which concrete is better? So the correct answer is as follows. We can see that concrete A is better. Concrete A is better. Okay. The reason behind concrete A being better is that the Variation in strength results of concrete A is very low. We can see that the results are lying in a very short range. And also for concrete B, when we compare to concrete B, we can see that the results are lying in a very large range. So the concrete B is having lesser quality control as compared to concrete A. Hence, we can say that concrete A is better. Okay. Now, the next question is, here we are given with a, here we are given with a test result. Okay. Test results of cubes. Test results of cubes. Now, we are asked to check whether 
the concrete is whether the concrete is accepted or not accepted or not whether the concrete is accepted or not okay so the test results are for m30 concrete for m30 concrete the test results are 31 newton per mm square 32.4 newton per mm square 33 newton per mm square and 30 newton per mm square so let us check the answer here we can say that first let us find the average strength f average we can see that f average is equal to 31 plus 32.4 plus 33 plus 30 all divided by 4 which is equal to 31.6 newton per mm square 31.6 newton per mm square we know that f average should be greater than or equal to 0.825 sigma plus fck or fck plus 4 whichever is greater okay whichever is greater here we will get 0.825 sigma plus fck as 0.825 into the standard deviation for m30 is 5 plus 30 which is equal to 34.125 also fck plus 4 is equal to 30 plus 4 which is equal to 34 newton per mm square newton per mm square we can say that definitely this is the value that we should be taking for checking so when we compare 31.6 and 34.125 we can say that f average has come out to be less than our 0.825 sigma plus fck which means that the sample is rejected the sample is rejected okay so we have to go for another concrete okay the sample is rejected now let us go for the next question here a similar model question is given again a similar model question is given again okay again for m30 concrete the test results of the cubes are given as 29.6 newton per mm square 34.2 newton per mm square 36.7 newton per mm square and 39.1 newton per mm square we are asked to find whether the sample is accepted or not accepted or not so let us go for the answer the f average value is given as okay so let us go for the answer okay is 29.6 plus 34.2 plus 36.7 plus 39.1 all divided by 4 which is equal to 34.9 newton per mm square now the f average required is 0.825 should be greater than or equal to 0.825 sigma plus efck or efck plus 4 whichever is greater okay so when we check the values we can find that the 0.825 0.825 sigma plus efck it turns out to be 34.125 and the efck plus 4 efck plus 4 turns out to be 34 we can see that 
this value is the one we have to choose for comparison and when we compare we can definitely find that f average is greater than 34.125 which means that the criteria one has been passed it has passed the first criteria first criteria now we can go for the second criteria okay when we go for the second criteria okay the individual test result individual test result shall be greater than or is equal to fck minus 4 now the fck minus 4 turns out to be 34 minus 30 minus 4 which is equal to 26 newton per mm square we can find that all itrs are when we compare the values we can say that all itrs are above 26 newton per mm square Hence, we can say that it has passed the second criteria. It has passed the second criteria. Hence, our concrete is ready for acceptance. Now, for the last check, we can say that the variation, the checks in variation. Okay. So, let us go for the minimum variation. The minimum variation turns out to be 29.6 minus 34.9 all divided by 34.9 into 100 percentage which is equal to negative 15.18 percentage now the maximum variation turns out to be 39.1 minus 34.9 divided by 34.9 into 100 percentage which is equal to positive 12.03 percentage we can say that even though it has passed in the maximum variation criteria, it has failed in the minimum variation criteria because the upper limit and the lower limit both is plus or minus 15 percentage only. This means that the samples is good but the cubes are defective. So, we can write that we can go for resampling we can go for resampling that is the condition prevails which prevails here okay that it has failed in this condition i hope that you have all understood all these conditions i hope that it was useful for you we will be bringing you more and more videos at the earliest thank you all thank you very much